This video was sponsored by Azul, technology inspired by real people. What's going on guys, this is Super from TechSmartDeals.com and this is an unboxing and full review of the Azul Byte 3 Windows 10 Mini PC. Now first thing we'll do is take a look at the packaging, I'll show you the back and front of the box and all around it and everything like that because the packaging is always on point from Azul. And the first thing you'll see when you open the box is this thumbs up, thumbs down. They just want you to give a review of what you think of the device. So you can give it a review over at that Facebook page or Twitter or something like that. Check it out. And here's the Byte 3 instructions manual. So if you need any help setting up the device or learning about it, check that out. And here's IP Vanish, a special offer through azultech.com. Let's go ahead and check the device out. You see the Byte 3 at the front. And there's one of the 3.0 USBs and a 2.0 along with the SD card slot. And on the back is two more 3.0 USB ports. And it looks like a headphone input as well as the SATA drive connection, the Ethernet port, HDMI port, VGA output, the power output and the USB Type-C port. So this device is completely loaded as you can see it has everything and you can really run this thing just like a PC as you can see it has all the proper connections. You can even increase the storage using that SATA connection. Now let's put the device aside and see what else is in the box. This is the package with the charger and remote. And I wasn't sure what these screws were for, so I guess we're just gonna have to put them aside for now and maybe we'll figure it out later. This is the 12 volt power adapter. And you just hold this button and slide the little protector off. And you can snap this. You just line it up with the little holes on the sides and it snaps right into place, just like that. Let's go ahead and put the power cord aside. And here's the new remote control. And this remote control takes a long lasting ion battery so you don't have to worry about replacing batteries or recharging. And it even has the menu button, volume up and down, just a nice little assortment of buttons there for you. So let's go ahead and connect the Byte 3. We'll connect our 12 volt power adapter and you can either use the VGA output or the HDMI output, both are 4K ready. And you can also use both at the same time if you wanna hook up dual monitors. All right, now I'm loading up the device for one of the first times. And when you see this on your screen the very first time, just click OK and the device will restart. And then you'll be presented with this menu that you can select the language and your location country, your layout for the keyboard, everything like that, your Wi-Fi network, it's just the basic setup at the very beginning before you update. And you can go ahead and set this up, most people watching this will be setting it up as a personal use device. Go ahead and input your email address or if you have a Windows account you can use that email or you can create a new one if you'd like. And it's just some basic setup stuff here. Just click on through the process. Everybody's gonna do this the same, so I just sped this up as much as I could. But I didn't wanna leave this out because the device does restart several times during the first initial setup. So I just wanted to capture that for you guys so that you see exactly how to set this device up correctly because as with every Windows device, it must be set up correctly or there'll be big problems later on. So once the device restarts again, you go over to the startup menu and click on the power icon and restart for one last time. And after you click restart this time, it'll be ready to go as soon as it starts up. You can input your Windows account password. So now that we've got the Byte 3 past the initial setup phase, let's go over to the startup menu, click on the settings icon, and then we'll click on the system window at the left. Click on display, which will bring us to this menu and you can click on this recommended 100% and then change the size of the text on the screen. Now you don't have to do that, but that's just something that I choose to do because I sit far away from my television, which is where I'm gonna be using my Byte 3. 
Now the next thing you want to do is click on storage. Now this is pretty important because you don't have much storage to begin with on this device because it comes with only 32 gigabytes of internal storage. So the first thing you want to do is turn on the storage sense and then click on change where new content is saved and you'll see that you'll be able to click on each place where this PC is selected. Just click on that. You can save it to your USB or your SD card or whichever you have more space on. Just click apply next to it after as you see me doing on the screen. And once you set it up this way, you'll be able to save the files that you download, videos, whatever, to the SD card or USB drive or wherever you'd like. So now we're going to run PC Mark 7, which is a benchmark program for Windows. Click run benchmark and fast forward through this part of it and I'll see you guys as soon as it's done we'll explain exactly how it went so here's the results this 3440 was the score and it doesn't give much details right here but we scroll down past this it doesn't really recognize the processor but it says it doesn't recognize it in the beginning but then a little bit further down it recognizes it as you can see the processor is the Intel Celeron in 3450 and there's also one of the four cores which is what was tested so keep that in mind that this score was only testing one of the four cores it shows the four gigabytes of ram which this is the four gigabyte model there's also an eight gigabyte model available all right now let's launch google chrome which i installed my favorite browser so that's the one i always use and we'll go to cody.tv forward slash download or download cody Windows. So click on the Windows icon once you get to the Kodi download page. And one of the really cool things about the Byte 3 is that you can download Kodi right from the Windows App Store. So just click on get the app right there and then click open Microsoft Store. And this will take you directly to the Microsoft App Store. And just click on install. And after you click on install, it'll prompt you right there to choose the location you'd like to download this file to, which is really cool and helpful. Just click on install, wait a few seconds, and I also sped up this part of the video so that this would be over with pretty quickly, but the download time didn't take long, approximately a minute and a half. So when Cody starts for the first time, you'll see this Windows Defender firewall message. Just click on private networks, and if you want, you can click on public networks as well and allow access to both of those. Let's go ahead and close Cody. Go over to our startup menu and type Windows Update. This is the most important thing that I've shown you so far. Once you get past the initial setup phase, remember the setup must be done correctly first and then you'll be able to get to this Windows Update. It'll search for the best and most recent update for Windows 10. You'll see the newest updates available within a few seconds and they'll download and install automatically but you may need to restart the Byte 3 after. So we went ahead and downloaded another application, Facebook, and there's several different apps you could have chose, but I just went ahead and chose this one. I wanted to show you that full screen apps work on this device well. And that pretty much covers everything. If you're looking to order the Byte 3, please visit azultech.com and you'll see the choices on your screen. So you can select four or eight gigabytes as well as the type of operating system you'd like installed on the device whenever it arrives at your door. All right, guys, this is Super from TechSmartDeals.com. Please remember to like and follow us on all social media platforms. And remember to click the bell icon whenever you subscribe to our channel so that you get notified every time we put out a video so that you never miss it. This is Super from TechSmartDeals.com signing out. See you guys in the next one. Peace.